What's up, YouTube? Leon here, and today we're gonna be playing some spook games, I guess, because it is the month of spook, October, and uh, you know, might as well play something kind of spooky. So here's our first game of the month, Animal Village, which is a pixel horror game, and actually the first in the Pixel Horror Jam on itch.io so if you want to check this game out I would suggest you do before watching this video because it seems pretty cool. I played a little bit but did not play all the way through it. I thought it was a pretty interesting experience so I'm gonna play it. A new game! Uh, how do I... Yes. Alright so we're this, this bunny guy and uh, let me read the uh, description. It is a short survival horror with light dating sim elements, which is kind of interesting. It's a game made for the Pixel Horror Jam 2016. The game is about exploring the pit in the middle of an animal village, a quaint little settlement inhabited by talking animals. Don't talk to the bird-headed man, don't acknowledge him, and don't trust him. That is the description, which is pretty interesting. So Animal Village visitors welcome. And uh, here it is. Here's the game. Let's go talk to this rabbit person. Welcome, I'm the guide of this place. You may call me Miranda. All right. This is Animal Village, formerly Human Village. So there used to be people here. It's empty as of now, but we're accepting visitors, alright. Would you like to know about the pit? The text is a little bit hard to read, but that's fine. Um, it was built by the people that lived here. They used to throw dead bodies into the pit, but grew to throw inside anything unwanted. But grew to throw inside anything unwanted. So it's pretty much a uh, trash dump now. Their sorrow, their fears, their doubt, all were cast into the pit. But the things they threw away, they couldn't, they could never get back, and that is why they died. What did they throw? Did you lose something important as well? Hmm. All right, so this room, there's nothing here. So I'm going to make this a bit more traditional let's play, I guess. It seems interesting enough to warrant that. Again, if if you think this is interesting, you should go check it out. So we can actually spend time with Miranda. This is where the, I guess, light dating sim elements come in. So let's just spend more time. The two of you stand in silence. You can tell she appreciates company. Many dangerous people have been tossed into the pit. Her eyes don't meet yours. I'm scared to think what might have become of them. Such deep darkness has a... She struggles to find the word. A transformative effect on people. Her eyes light up. Ah. If you're interested, many people have gone dark bathing into the pit. That's weird. She seems happy to change the subject. The hotel roof below is perfect for such an occasion. You two chat for a while. Alright. That's cool. Again, the, the text is a bit hard to read. I'm, I am like trying to read it off a gigantic widescreen, so... It's a little bit hard to read. I also have a gun. It's, it's very Resident Evil as well. You have to aim and then shoot. You can't move and shoot at the same time, which is pretty Resident Evil. Don't feel like it right now, so that you can use the restroom. Let's talk to this dude. Can you believe they tried to make this into a home? 
These walls couldn't house an ant. I already unpacked my stuff. The bed on the right is mine, but you can use the left. Use the one on the left side. The name's Rondo, by the way. Rondo the Stray. I guess we're roommates now. I came because I heard they needed settlers, and I guess I never had a place to call my own. What did you come here for, by the way? Uh, so I guess I live here. Seems this is your bed now. Ah, uh, no, I don't need to sleep. So that's kind of Dark Souls-ish. Like you can, I guess it's like a save. All items and enemies will return. So it's like a save. How's things, Rumi? Um, let's spend time with Rondo. This place was gross back when humans lived here. Rondo starts ra rambling. Whoever made them leave. Whoever made them leave did us all a favor. The humans that lived here were all rude, inconsiderate jerks. None of them ever treated me kindly. That's why I left, you see. Life's, life's better on the road. You feel you understand Rondo a little more. Um, I don't know if I should keep talking to him. I'm not too sure. I mean, it is a horror game, so... I'm assuming that... You shouldn't trust anyone. Alright, so here we have this big dude. Seems nice. He he actually could trade, or she could be a she, I don't know. Butcher. I am Mass the Butcher. If you'd like, I can turn your blood into bullets. Don't worry, there's no there's no charge. After all, this is a community service. So yeah, you can change your, the blood you get into bullets which you get from enemies. You get blood from enemies, which is very Killer7, um, if you ever played that. And uh, bullets... You can change bullets into blood, which is your HP as well. So we're gonna go back, or go into the pit. Let's see, turn on our light. I'm not sure if the light is uh, is limited, but we'll see. Alright, let's talk to this guy. He's dark bathing, I guess. Why, hello there. Sir or madam. Beautiful day, no? Almost makes you feel like skydiving. You can go first, of course. This guy's weird. Let's meet again, yes? Alright, so we can't... We can't do, like, dating stuff with that guy. So, hey, this game has fog of war, which is surprising. You can't see things um, outside of your vision. So yeah, that that was kind of just like a wall enemy that you could shoot. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So yeah, this is pretty cool so far. I did play a little bit, so... I kind of know what's gonna happen. And so far, through what I played, there's like no jump scares. Ghost ahead. I do hate jump scares to an extent. If they're used poorly. I mean, how would you use them pretty well? There's some games that do it pretty well. So here's your um, normal enemy. You get blood by, by killing him. I guess it's very Resident Evil, Silent Hill ish. Has that feel to it? Again, I can't move and shoot at the same time, which makes it kind of difficult depending on the enemy, which we'll see in a little bit. But yeah, so far the atmosphere is great. It's has a quiet atmosphere. Um, art is fantastic. Like pixel, pixel art or good pixel art is always nice to look at, and this is no exception. This is this is pretty good. There's no ambient noises. It's just quiet besides your footsteps. So it's pretty Im immersive in that aspect. 
Yeah, I haven't been recording all that much just because out of nothing really interesting to record. There's a lot of games that, for me, make it hard to record because it depends on like the game, right? So platformers are like number one. That they're they're very hard to talk over, do good commentary over. It just requires a little bit too much concentration. I mean, it could be interesting if the game is very challenging, just seeing someone uh, struggle at it could be entertaining for some people. But for me, I just don't think it's going to be very satisfying. Yeah, the, the atmosphere in this game is pretty good for a 16-bit, uh, it looks 16-bit game. Food is expired. Room filled with blood. It's nothing spook. Is it key? So here we go. Now we can go down more floors. I'm not too sure if I'm going down or up, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be we're going downwards. So no far no like traps as well. Like you'd assume that an enemy would just appear behind you once you pick pick up like bullets or a key but so far none of that happens it's it's pretty tame on traps like everything is ramping up to something so it's a uh, very good restraint I guess on the, the developers part It means a little weird. It's, I guess it's to simulate um, survival horror in a way. You can't. Uh, you're not always accurate when you shoot. So we have a new character here. This is a cat. It looks like a cat. What's up with everyone in this stupid town? They all speak. They all speak like they know something you don't. What a bunch of pretentious assholes. Hmm? Oh, my name's Freya, Freya the Lioness. I was on vacation here when some feathery asshole decided to throw the entire hotel down the pit, me included. If I ever catch the bastard, I'll make him pay. So they, they threw a whole hotel down a well? Hey, what's up? I spend time with Freya. Seems like the only sensible character so far. People up top seem really weird. Have you met Dolly? She's staying here too. Freya scratches behind her ear. She's a famous dancer. She was gonna she was going to do a show here. That's why I came, you see. We're old friends. I think her I heard her say something about wearing new dancing shoes. I wonder what that's all about. You two chat for a while. Alright. Seems seems cool. What happens if I talk to her again? Mm. Let's try it. She say something different? We'll see. The ghosts, they just phase right through me. She seems amused at your concern. I tried to eat one, but I couldn't quite get a grip on her. Damn things. I bet they are why they threw the hotel down here. She seems happier. To chat for a while. That's cool. That's cool. I don't even know what I am. Am I like a fake bunny? Am I like a human wearing uh, bunny ears? Like are these the humans? Spooky ghost human. No. Maybe it can use a little bit of like ambience as well. Like maybe like mo like some 
enemy noises. It doesn't have to be exactly moaning or anything, but like something besides just walking. The noise of footsteps. The guitar is also nice when you do the the little interactions. The short jingle, but it works. Oh. So here we I'm assuming this is human. Like half of them. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't know. I just wanted to dance, but I couldn't stop dancing. So I cut them off. I'm so sorry. It hurts. Cut off your leg. Should I talk to Lion Lady? Maybe she'll say something about it because she's talking about her friend who is a dancer. So let's see. Oh no, so it's the same one, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if this game auto saves. Maybe I should go back and save real quick. A set of items will be reset, so bullets will be reset too. Um, yeah, let's do that because I know something's coming up. Whoa, the spider. Let's take a rest really quick. Sure. Oh, well, I slept on the floor. That's fine too. Alright. Let's uh, talk with Rondo again before we go down. This place looks des desolate now, but it's ten times better than how it used to be. Rondo starts ra rambling. It was just too full of stuff. Hotel, government, ho government hall, a cemetery, a prison, houses, Pri prison, prison. I think that's wrong. Prison. I'm not sure what that is. All sorts of useless shit. Who even goes to the... Who even goes to those places? Not me, that's who. I understand you a little more, I guess. Not in a good way. Sp uh, speak with Miranda again. Miranda catches you staring. This village is a historic site. Many tourists like you have come here before, seeking the things they've lost, hoping to find them in the pit. Not many have come back out, her head tilts. What would you make someone do something so dangerous? What would make someone do something so dangerous? You chat for a while. Yeah, so that's one criticism, just the text is hard to read sometimes. So yeah, it's, they seem pretty generous with the with the bullets because not only do oh, enemies spawn but also um, bullets spawn again too more bloody hallways pretty standard for horror games dance hall someone has scratched words 12 bullets into the sign so. here is the first boss this is where I stopped so I'm gonna try to go Oh no, I'm the legs. So yeah, this, this is pretty hard to um, to try to do actually, just because I can't move and shoot at the same time it makes it a little difficult. What if I turn off my light? Nope. Alright, so I, I developed a new trick, quick shot. You press aim and shoot at the same time. Kind of, kind of works. You can't shoot as fast as you want though, which is kind of a problem. Ow. Alright, now just for the big legs. It take a while. Yeah, it's pretty hard to aim where you want to aim.
Got him. I think. No, oh, it's still still coming at me. Alrighty. Kill the first boss. He kind of shows the that boss kind of shows how difficult the mechanics can be. You need a lot more patience before. You understand like how to to do the boss. It's not a hard boss, of course. It's just it goes straight at you. Just you need the patience. Yeah. And I'm not very patient. 